Welcome back, everyone. Every Sunday, Pat Sullivan from Sullivan Hardware and Garden stops by with some great advice. Today, he's talking about lawn care and how you can get ready for the spring. Well, happy St. Patrick's Day. Uh, here we are. I have this beautiful shamrock, which isn't really a shamrock. It's more of a weed. But you know what? That's all right. We celebrate it. They're beautiful. Uh, this is oxalis, and uh, you can actually plant it outside if you'd like after you uh, get all the, uh, after it's sitting by the kitchen sink for so long, come in red. But they are, they are beautiful, but uh, it is kind of funny that typical of the Irish would pick a weed to be our, our symbol. So, all right. So it's about, you know, we're getting close. It's a little colder this week, but it's about time to start thinking about the lawn. And some people start thinking about the lawn a little too soon. Right now is the time when you get all the advertisements for lawn programs, all right? So lawn programs were really bigger in the, probably in the 80s, uh, if you can remember the 80s. Uh, and the, so they, they've kind of slowed down because people like to do different things. So here, here's the typical lawn program. Step one, crabgrass control and fertilizer. Step two, the yellow bag, is weed control and fertilizer. And then step three can either be fertilizer, in this case, in the Jonathan Green, it's a soil food, and then an application of fertilizer in the fall. So here would be the downside of getting stuck into a program is sometimes you don't need some of it, right? Maybe you don't have crabgrass, but you're gonna put crabgrass control all over your lawn. The other thing, lawn care companies or fertilizer companies, they know you're excited about your lawn in the spring, so they need you to buy as much as they can in the spring. Because really, if I switch this program around to be the best for your lawn, what I would do is I would take this one right here and I would put this into the fall. So I would do, because the best time to kill weeds is September, and the best time to fertilizer is September and November. So here's how I would switch this around, whether it's the Scotts program or the Jonathan Green, I would put my crabgrass control and fertilizer down, and that's all you need in the spring. I'd put either fertilizer or, I, I really recommend this soil food, uh, can go down any time, you can put it in the summer. And then in the fall, when you're sick of your lawn, September and November, that would be ideal. Some of you may not even need that because maybe you don't have, maybe it's a real shady lawn and crabgrass doesn't really grow in the shade. So what you could do is there's uh, products, I'm not sure where it went to, but there's products that just control crabgrass, all right? No fertilizer in it. So then you could go, crabgrass will always uh, germinate along the edges because there's heat in the sidewalk and driveway. So then you start to get crabgrass right in there. So then you could take, if it doesn't have fertilizer in it, you can put those in those areas and just control your crabgrass there. Then just put fertilizer down and you don't have to worry about anything else. The other thing with weeds, I'm not an organic gardener, but this is putting 100% weed killer down. It's not a preventer, it's a killer. So let's say your lawn is 5% weeds. You're kind of wasting 95% of a weed killer on your lawn that you don't really need. So the other way you could do it, just use plain fertilizer and then spot treat. Just go out and when you, wherever you see a weed, you hit it. And then if it needs another application, it really, so, so that's a way, it's not organic gardening. There certainly is organic uh, food like this and then organic weed killer that really doesn't work very well. So you can do that. So there's all these options out there and now is the time to start thinking about it after you get back from St. Patrick's.